Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Hacker 101. All right, sorry, um, it's been about a week since I posted a video, um, or actually a little longer. Um, I got a, I got a strike, not a strike, but I got another warning, and one of my videos were taken down for my Z, um, Z Fisher video. So apparently, YouTube does not like like fishing videos, even though I was showing how fishing works on my own equipment. Um, they don't like Wi-Fi hacking videos, even though I was showing how Wi-Fi hacking works on my own equipment. Um, so a little discouraging, um, but I, there, there's still plenty for me to teach you guys. Um, so today, I'm going to show you how to use Tor, or proxy chains with Tor, for anonymizing your traffic, okay? So uh, previously, I had showed you, I had created a video and showed you guys how to use proxy chains with um, using pro like SOX4, SOX5, and HTTP proxies. But instead today, we're gonna use the Tor service. And when I say Tor, I'm not talking about the browser, I'm talking about the Tor service that connects you to the Tor network. And then therefore, through proxy chains, you can anonymize your, your browsing activities. All right, so before we get started, let me load my disclaimer. All right, so as you guys know, all the hacking that I do on Hacker 101 um, I do this on equipment that I own. Um, I have full permission. I don't um, support any legal activity. And for any hacking activities, you should always have permission or own the equipment that you are hacking. All right, so with that being said, I'm going to load up Kali Linux. Um, if you have Ubuntu or Debian Linux or some other um, flavor of Linux, um, these commands will work as well. Um, Kali Linux happens to already have proxy chains installed. You do have to install the Tor service, um, but um, I'll show you guys the commands um, to install both services. So first, you always want to do a sudo apt update. Just check for the latest. Um, get your package manager up to date, and then do sudo apt install. And a lot of people ask me, what is the difference between proxy chains and proxy chains four? Proxy chains four is the newest version of proxy chains. It has, you know, different features and whatnot. So I'm, this is how you would install proxy chains for um, sudo apt install proxy chains for, and then to install Tor, you do sudo apt install Tor, just like that. Now I already have it installed, so it's um, already the latest version, but you just run those two commands, which I will leave in the description, and that is gonna configure, or it's going to install proxy chains and it's going to install the Tor service, but we still have a few more steps. So first thing, um, let's edit the proxy chains. Can, or since we installed Tor, let's go ahead and enable um, the Tor service. That way, when you reboot your machine, um, Tor will re be enabled after the reboot, and then we can start the service. And I'll show you how to check the status of it. So first thing we want to do is do um, system ctl enable tor.service, just like that. All right. Okay, and it's going to ask you for your um, your root password. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Why is it telling me that? Let me just do so. sudo. One second. <clears throat> okay, so sudo enable tor.service, and then we're going to do um, systemctl start tor.service, like, just like so. So we're going to start the service, and now we want to check the status of the service. All right, so we can see that the tor service is loaded and it's actively running, right? So now we got to configure proxy chains. So it will route all our all of our traffic through the Tor network, right? So first, so let's go ahead and open up the config. We're going to open up the proxy chains config file and make a couple of changes. So to type in sudo nano rvi and then etsy proxy chains 4conf now, some people, if you have the older version of proxy chains, the config file is going to be proxychains.conf. If you got the latest version, it's proxychains4.conf. Um, and then hit enter. 
And then you're going to see, right, you're going to have these um, options like strict chain, round robin, random chain. I think random chain is the default. Comment that out. Um, set it to dynamic chain. And what that does is that's going to try the first um, serve the first Tor socks socks for proxy then it'll try the socks five proxy second if the pr first one doesn't work so dynamic comment um, put a hash or a comment in front of random uh, make sure that the proxy dns option is uncommented so all your dns requests go through the tour service too you don't want if you uncomment if you comment this out like this then tour or proxy chain is not going to read route all your DNS requests through Tor, and then your IP could be exposed. So make sure that is uncommented like that. And then we're gonna scroll down to the bottom, and you're gonna see, um, and Tor will enable this in your proxy config file. If not, just type in SOX4 space 127.0.0.1, which is your local host, and port 9050, that is the port for the Tor service. And then on the second line, type in SOX5 127.0.0.1.9050, um, same port number, um, just like so on my screen. And once you have that, then you can save it. And okay, so now we have proxy chains configured, right? We've got the Tor service that's running and proxy chains config file has been configured to connect to the Tor service that's what those two bottom commands were, the SOX4 and SOX5 um, entries. Those are saying, um, th that's telling proxy chains to connect to that Tor service on port 9050, right? On 127.0.0.1, which is your local host. All right, so now um, to run proxy chains, you'll type in proxy change. And this command is the same if you're using the old version or using version four. Just type in proxy change, and you can type in Firefox. And we'll use a popular, popular um, site, dnsleaktest.com, to make sure that our traffic is is anonymized, right? So let's just type in proxy change, space, Firefox, space, dnsleaktest.com. That is going to open up the Firefox browser and take us to this website, right? Let's hit Enter. Now, one thing you'll notice with the Tor network um, versus proxies is that it, it may be slower in most cases, and usually it is. And you know, if you if you want your op operation security to be um, tight and you know and really be anonymous, then you're going to have it's a write-off. You know, you're going to have to maybe deal with the um, slowness of the Tor network if that's the route you want to take. All right, so I can see right now it's giving me a different IP address from Germany. I don't live in Germany, right? So um, I can tell you now that this is um, routing through the Tor network, but let's do a standard test for the sake of the video because it'll be pretty quick. But this is going to tell me, you know, um, how my traffic is being routed through the Tor network. All right, you see we're going from Germany. You see a Tor exit 32, it's a uh, Tor node. Uh, how about that CIA Triad Security LLC? All right, so um, yeah, that's our IP address. So that's that's the only the only um, test I think it's going to run. Um, if we do the extended test, then it'll um, check for other. Um, let's try this. But you you know you need to make sure um, you know I'll always check your you know your DNS um, like dnsleaktest.com or go to whatsmyip.com or whatsmyip.org and you can see um, what your IP address is and you'll know whether if it's working or not. All right, so this this takes a few minutes for this um, this to run, but what I what I do want to show you while that's um while that's doing its thing is um you can see all the traffic here. Proxy chain is routing all that traffic through. 127.001, which is the local host, port 9050. That's going all through um, the Tor network. And like, like, like I said, it's slow. Um, so this, this didn't give us much more information. Same IP address from Germany, right? But, you know, we are hitting the Tor network, and we can see that 
in the command here. So I'm going to close this browser window, and you'll see it goes back to the command prompt. Now, let's say if you wanted to run nmap, all right, you would just do proxy change nmap, and then you can do, uh, let's see, 192.168.1.254, right? That is my router's IP address. What my point is, is anything you want to run, like if it be nmap or your browser or another tool that you're running, if you want it to run through the Tor network and through proxy chains, you have to come to the command prompt to load your application, like nmap, for example. And you'll type in proxy chains and then the program nmap or whatever program you're running and then the command you want to run. This tells your program to run through proxy chains. You're loading nmap through proxy chains, right? So everything is going to be um, is going to be proxy, right? I got to deny there because this is my firewall router. Um, but um, anyways, you get the point. To use proxy chains, you got to type in the command proxy chains, and then Firefox or nmap or whatever program you want to, you know, route through proxy chains and Tor. All right, it's pretty straightforward. It's pretty simple. I'm going to leave all the commands in the um, description on how to install this. Um, if you notice you have proxychains.comp and proxychains4.comp, you can just do apt remove proxychains, and that'll get rid of the older version, and you'll still have proxychains4, um, which will leave you with the 1.comp file. Some people get confused by that. And it's just because they have two different versions of proxy chains installed. All right, so I hope you guys like that. I will come up with some new videos uh, to make for you guys. Um, if you like the video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And once again, um, real bummer on um, YouTube taking down the Z Fisher video and uh, my Wi-Fi um, hacking videos. You know, it's kind of kind of disheartening heartening because I see other people making Wi-Fi videos, Wi-Fi hacking videos, but you know, I'm not going to be a hater, uh, but mine got taken down. So anyways, I'll find something very interesting and very helpful for you guys to learn. And so stay tuned. All right. Thanks.